So I was diagnosed with ADHD um, last year when I was 27. Um, I am the third person in my family to get an ADHD diagnosis. So I think that process of going through a diagnosis, it really makes you reflect upon, you know, how, for me, how my ADHD impacts me and how it's impacted me in the past. Um, and it's really kind of made me realise how much easier um, some situations could have been for me had I known where uh, my symptoms were, were coming from. I think what's really interesting is that I still to this day get a lot of people who say to me like, you really don't look like you have ADHD or you don't seem like it, I'd never know. Um, but actually, once you start reading about how ADHD impacts women, I actually think it would have been abundantly clear to anyone that had that understanding that, that I um, do have ADHD from a, a really young age. So that's really kind of motivated me to want to raise more awareness. And I've tried to be quite vocal about uh, my ADHD journey since I got diagnosed. As a neurodiverse parent, I also have three daughters um, aged 22, 18 and 12. Um, my eldest also has an autism diagnosis, the same as I do. Um, my 18-year-old daughter is currently going through her ADAD, ADHD diagnosis and my youngest, we're just starting a referral through school. There are so many things within the world that need to be changed, that need to be understood, that need to be helped. And with my daughters, especially my 22-year-old daughter, um, after receiving the help, receiving the support and being able to be in an environment where she can thrive is now moving into a final year of medical school. Um, so that just goes to show that with the right environment and the right support and the right space to be able to thrive, that anything is achievable. Life isn't accessible to all. You know, we don't make, um, we don't accept or make allowances. There's a lot of judgment that goes on and we need to remove that. You know, we shouldn't be judging people. You know, for me personally, I've got a hidden disability. Part of that is to do with spatial awareness, with depth perception. So to me, a flight of stairs is probably one of the most dangerous things I can face. A flight of stone stairs with no markings is, that's just an invitation for me to get injured, that I don't see stairs. I think everybody has their own vulnerability. And for me, my vulnerability is my eyesight and not being able to see. And being seen as something less than I am because I have this hidden disability.